hello guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is tessie good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on where you are watching from hope you all are doing well and thank you so much for stopping by so yesterday i posted a video of how 25 frontline uh, nigerian soldiers resigned citing corruption in the army and also the e-treatment that is being meted on them some of you said fake news false news someone even said bearing Jesus name you're not supposed to be giving false news even the nigerian army they've come to confirm that yes 25 frontline soldiers resigned though they denied that there is no corruption but you and i knows the level of corruption in nigeria today so i posted that video and someone wrote to me i'm going to cover his name he wrote to me and said that every single thing said in that video is correct according to him he said that uh, he joined the nigerian army in in 2012 and resigned 2021 and he said he has evidence and very soon he will begin to upload the corruption and intimidation in the nigeria army but he's waiting to jack up first that's why i will be covering the picture he also sent to me so that i will know that he was once in the army so i will cover his name and the picture that he sent to me so uh if you haven't watched that video that i uploaded yesterday i'm gonna uh, quickly let you guys watch it before i come back with my uh, opinion but i want to beg you to please help me to share and also like so that youtube and facebook can recommend it to more people a total of 25 soldiers are exiting the nigerian army despite the worsening security challenges the military is currently combating in some parts of the country sahara reporters has gathered in the list exclusively obtained by sahara reporters the soldiers are all from the nigerian army armored corps NAAC, and belong to junior cadres. Soldiers in junior cadres are the ones mostly sent to the front. NAAC came into being on the 21st of April 1958 from the only existing artillery battery then in the NACA. It is one of the teeth arms of the Nigerian army. The department provides close combat support to the infantry. It has various types of units equipped with different categories of vehicles and armaments for the performance of their peculiar roles. These units include recce battalions, tank battalions, light tank battalions, and the demonstration battalion. More soldiers are resigning voluntarily due to the ill treatment by superiors and corruption in Nigeria army. Imagine the recent list. They are all from the armored corps. 25 people trained for years on how to operate different war vehicles. Armored tanks are leaving just like that, so unfortunate, a soldier told Sahara reporters on Tuesday night. Meanwhile, the list of exiting soldiers did not distinguish between those embarking on voluntary retirement and those leaving the army on medical grounds. However, none of them has attained retirement age or the mandatory years of service. The chief of army staff has since approved their formal disengagement. According to the approval, the 25 soldiers are to submit all military properties in their possession. Consequently, I am directed to request formations and units to release all affected soldiers to report at the headquarters, garrison, with their unit service documents for documentation. The internal signal signed by Daticum read, all forms of military-controlled items, arms, ammunition, and items of combat kits are recovered from the soldiers prior to their disengagement date and certify that they are properly de-kitted. Please acknowledge. There have been allegations of corruption in the Nigerian army, which some of the soldiers have blamed on the issue, soldiers overstaying in the northeast. According to some soldiers, the army is the epitome of deep-seated corruption. They noted that corruption is affecting the prosecution of the anti-terrorism war in northeast Nigeria. In the past, army personnel deployed for counterinsurgency operations had lamented that those who were to relieve them many months after they were asked to leave, the battlefield refused to resume. The soldiers complained that they were being forced to confront Boko Haram militants, adding that their low morale and lack of willingness to continue to fight made it possible for terrorists to dislodge some military camps recently. They complained of abandonment and accused the military authorities of keeping them on the front beyond their approved period of stay. In the last 12 months, over 1,000 soldiers in northeast Nigeria and other theaters of operation have resigned from the Nigerian army. 
Some of the affected soldiers who spoke to Sahara reporters had cited loss of interest, intimidation by superiors, corruption in the army, and low morale as their reasons for their actions. In 2022, some army personnel also accused former President Muhammadu Buhari of failing to check corruption and financial mismanagement among some top military officers while soldiers continue to cry on a daily basis. The soldiers, in an open letter to the president, accused top army officers of corruption and extortion. They said, despite their numerous complaints, nobody was saying anything about their unpaid allowances by the military finance corps. Recently, the Nigerian army approved an upward review of ration cash allowance to soldiers. The RCA takes care of the feeding of Nigerian military personnel in lieu of central feeding. In a signal exclusively obtained by Sahara reporters, the army had said the move was a sequel to the recent removal of fuel subsidy by the Nigerian government, which had caused an increment in prices of goods and services across the country. The signal was dated July 28th and signed by E.E. E. Amika, a major general on behalf of the Chief of Army Staff. Sequel to the recent removal of fuel subsidy by the Federal Government of Nigeria, with its attendant rise in the prices of goods and services across the country, the COAS has graciously approved upward review of Ration Cash Allowance, RCA, for troops from 1,000 Naira to 1,200 Naira, with effect from August 2023, it had read. Relatedly, requisition for petroleum oil and lubricants, POL, are to be subsequently calculated as 30 litres of PMS and 50 litres of AGOS. I am to respectfully add that you forward your sustenance requirements to this headquarters not later than 15 of every month in line with the new rates for necessary action. Please acknowledge receipt. Now, here is my opinion. The fact that 25 soldiers from a specialized unit of the Nigerian army chose to resign amidst rising security challenges raises pressing questions about the internal workings of the military establishment. The frequency of resignations over the past year paints a narrative of discontent and disillusionment. While corruption in any institution is worrisome, in the military, it can have life or death consequences, especially when it affects morale and operations on the front line. Soldiers feeling the need to voice their grievances through resignations or open letters suggest they lack proper channels within the system to address their concerns. The modest increase in allowances in the wake of significant economic changes might seem like a token gesture when juxtaposed against the larger issues the soldiers face. The leadership, both military and political, should view these resignations as a clarion call to deeply examine and rectify the underlying issues plaguing the Nigerian army. The situation in the Nigerian army is concerning. The resignations, especially from frontline cadres amid ongoing security challenges, point to deeper systemic issues. Allegations of corruption, ill-treatment, and extended frontline duties without relief further erode trust in the military leadership. It's alarming that soldiers who risk their lives lack the necessary support and feel unheard, leading them to take such drastic steps. The Army's effectiveness in addressing security threats might be compromised unless these internal grievances are swiftly addressed. All right, my people, and uh, that is it for you all. The thing is, um, when the very individuals who risk their lives for their country loses faith in their leadership, that means there is a very big problem. And to be honest, this is why we are seeing coup after coup in African countries. It is not just about the resignations. It is about the lasting impact on those who remain within the ranks. And on the international uh, stage, persistent allegations of corruption can damage uh, Nigeria's reputation, which is already damaged. You understand? So this could affect collaboration, training programs, and partnership with military institutions from other countries. But this is what these people don't think before taking action, before maltreating these people. I saw this, uh, this, and I said, let me come share with you all. The guy said, the guy said he is coming 
out with evidence which he has uploaded in his archive against the Nigerian uh, army, but he's waiting to jack up first. And that is it for you all, my people. I'm going to leave you to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. And with all of that being said, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.